In this presentation, we will take a look at the budget committee as we go through the budgeting process. When we consider the corporate structure, we typically consider it as a top-down type of structure. We have the management, we have the top management, we have the middle management, then we have the supervisor. So we have the top management with the overarching goals and objectives. We've got the middle management that's going to help to oversee the supervisors. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually these are just items that we picked from the youtube shopping affiliate program but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you these are things that we actually researched purchase and use ourselves here we have a western digital wd elements 20 terabyte usb 3.0 desktop external hard drive we use as part of our backup system noting that if you lower the number of terabytes of storage the price will lower dramatically as well when you're thinking about a backup system you're usually thinking about an online system or an external hard drive system like this or ideally some combination between the two giving you some redundancy you can also work directly from an external hard drive like this, but there are some drawbacks to doing that. One being, if you use this as your primary drive you're working from, it's no longer a backup drive, and you're going to need a backup system, possibly another external hard drive and or some kind of cloud backup system. And if you're working on something that takes up a lot of short-term memory, a lot of RAM as you're working on it, such as video editing, the external hard drive can slow up the system so you might want to come up with some kind of system where you download the project you're working on to your computer to your c drive or possibly to a solid state drive which is a much more expensive uh, external hard drive as you do the work once the work is done then save the project to an external hard drive such as this if you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. And then we have the supervisor typically focus on the day-to-day -day type of activities they're managing the activities that happen on a day-to-day -day process so we note that the company is not a democracy we're not voting for what is going on it's a top-down type of structure it's a top-down type of organization so we would think given that that the budget process would be something that possibly would be dictated by the top and the top would then just tell the rest of the company the map of where we are going and of course the final decision on the budget what budget process will be implemented will be done by the top management however it's going to be important for top management in order to achieve all the objectives that we talked about through the budgeting process to get much of the information from the bottom up that means that much of the information through the budgeting process will actually go from the bottom up from the supervisors to the middle management to the upper management and we could see this bottom up type approach as we apply the budgeting process that will meet many more of our objectives so as we look at the objectives that we considered in a prior presentation we can meet many more of those objectives by taking this bottom up type of approach and there's a couple different things that we can meet one is that it will involve everybody we, if we have the decisions that are just made by top management and then top management implements those decisions even if they're communicated well, even if management has a very good plan, they know what the plan is, even if they knew everything that's going on in the company and they made a perfect plan and then implemented the plan, it's very likely that people will not execute on that plan as well as they could, even if no, it's the perfect plan, even though it's communicated perfectly because they don't feel invested in it. So that's gonna be one problem. The other problem is of course that if a company of just about any size, if we have multiple type of departments, and of course, as the company gets larger and larger, there's no way that the top management knows everything that's gonna be involved in the budgeting process. It has to, as the company gets larger and larger, it has to be more decentralized. A lot of the information is gonna to have to go from the bottom up because the people in the departments are the people that have the information necessary to make the budget or put the budget together. 
So the larger the company is, the more we're going to have to be dependent on the segments, the management of each department, the uh, regional managers to go in and say, okay, we're going to piece this thing up from the bottom up. We're going to get the budget uh, information. Then we're going to put it together by region possibly. And then we'll uh, take a look at it from, from a holistic type of standpoint. So from a logistics standpoint, then uh, as the company gets larger, then you're going to have different segments and you're going to have to put things up by segment just from a logistics type of standpoint. It's also important that we want to have the communication because remember that the communications is one of the big keys of the budget. So when we consider the communication process, rather than thinking of it, this would be the way that we kind of build the budget from the bottom up as we take the information from the departments to possibly regions to possibly top management. But the budgeting process, we want to think of it as kind of an even type of process here. So obviously the indecision is going to be made by the top management, but a lot of the information is going to be made by the departments. And what we need is communication back and forth. So although the, the indecision is going to be made by the top management, we need the communication to be going back and forth and the people that are directing the budget committee then aren't really there to make their end goal in the budgeting process when we go through the budgeting process isn't really to be the one to say hey this is it this is the actual decision or to be the one that really knows everything so that they can basically make uh, the ultimate decision necessarily within the budgeting process the important piece is the process. We need someone to manage and direct the process. So we have a lot of people involved here. The main goal is to put a process together that everybody feels invested in the process. Everybody feels that the process is geared towards the full benefit of the company. And everybody feels that they have been heard within the process and don't have any fear of putting the information into the process for it to be considered with the objective of the end result, the best result for the company in general. If people feel comfortable with the process, if they think that the process is fair, is justified, then they're typically going to be good with the outcome. So that means that when you consider the, the process of the budget committee meeting, the what has to happen in terms of running it is for it to be ran in such a way that everybody feels that the process is fair, the process is good, they had the contribution. And then once the decision has been made, then the communication could then happen and the decision-making process then stops then because now the decision has been made. Hopefully everybody feels good about the process. It then can be communicated clearly by management at that point that, hey, the decision has been made. We've addressed everything that we can. Uh, anybody that had a dissenting opinion, hopefully we've addressed that uh, dissenting opinion. Decisions made now. Now we communicate the implementation of the budget process of the plan that everybody has had feedback in and has implemented their information on. And at that point in time, it's the communication of the plan, not the communication on how to put the plan together.